Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Dimple here again welcoming you all to my next session on Android Framework Components. So in my previous videos, I have done uh, many sessions on AIDL, HIDL concepts uh, and I have also done one application where uh, in one application how the communication happens between the AIDL client and the server. Uh, now I'm getting a lot of requests to demonstrate how the communication happens between two different applications, how the AIDL client and the server communicate uh, with two different apps, basic concepts regarding why AIDL is required, what is the client server and how they communicate, what is the concept of stub and what are the important methods to be overridden. All these I have done in my previous session so you all go through those. Uh, in today's session, I'll be showing you all an example how two applications uh, communicate with each other using this AIDL interface. So we all know AIDL is needed for two applications to communicate with each other for inter-process communication in Android applications. Today, just a simple uh, example of how uh, the calculator works so my client will be sending two numbers and my server will be adding or subtracting those two numbers and sending back the result to my client so this simple example i just wanted to demonstrate while demonstrating the example i just wanted to show you all the things to be taken care so the basic concepts you all can refer to my uh, previous videos here just i will show you all how what are the things and how to write uh, AIDL application between two different applications, AIDL communication between two different applications. So here is my server application. So the first step is we have to define our AIDL interface file. So here AIDL interface file, I have just named it as AIDL interface and we will define the method what this file what this server will be doing just calculate data it's taking two parameters sorry three parameters first value second value and what exactly i'll be performing operation type is either add subtract multiply or divide so just an interface i will define in this aidl file this is my server application which i'll be showing you all now in main activity, there's n I'm not changing anything here. I'm just adding one more service.java file where I'm extending the service. So this is the main file where I'll be writing all the code which will be executed when the server is invoked. So uh, by default or um, Android Studio will generate for us on this onBind method. So this onBind method will be overridden whenever we extend a service. And here I will define my AIDL stub. So how this stub is generated? Because marshalling and demarshalling is very tedious and it cannot be uh, done or it cannot be programmed. Android Studio will generate this stub for us, which helps in marshalling and demarshalling. Using this stub as a bridge, we communicate between the client and the server. So here calculate data. Inside this, I'm just calling another function to perform the calculation. Here in my client application, what I'm doing, I'm giving four different options to the user, add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So based on their input, these uh, return values will be returned, okay? So if two values are entered and I click on add button, case one will be executed. All this is basic Java, I hope this is clear. So the main thing I wanted to show you all is, uh, create your AIDL file and create another service.java file, extend the service, uh, this override onbind method and this stub, uh, you have to implement this stub basically. It is through this stub which uh, your communication between your uh, client and the server will happen. So I'm just um, creating this stub and this is the calculate binder which will be returned so when a stub is created so once i create a bridge someone has to pass through the bridge right to uh, communicate between the client and the server from one end to the other end so that is this calculate binder i am defining my binder so when the client invokes the server this binder calculate binder is the object which will be returned to the client via this stub so this is the important line here 
you all have to remember this was my server side so i'll show you all how my server will look so let me just scroll up this is my server right now it is empty okay so we have created one server application now we'll go to the client application so let me go back in the client side another important step um, it create a folder with the same package name as the service and create another AIDL file so basically AIDL file should be the same the same AIDL file which you created in your service application you can copy paste here make sure the name is same and also the server application package name should be the same and I'm going to my main activity here in my main activity I'm just using the stub which I created in my server so you remember this was the stub I create uh, created in my server and I'm using the stub we have to override this on service connected method and let me scroll down so this bind AIDL service is the function which is helping us to communicate with the this bind service is there no this is the api which is used to communicate with the server so apart from that uh, nothing else all the switch cases are uh, the normal things we can do it's just based on user input it will call which function add subtract multiply or divide so remember bind service method is the uh, main important method here which i wanted to show you all so once this bind service method is uh, called it will go to the servers on bind method whichever i showed in the other application right it will go there and a stub will be created and through that binder object whichever i showed calculate binder that object will be returned i'll show you all which object will be returned so this object will be returned once i call bind service from my client it, the control comes here stub will be created and this binder through this binder the result of our calculation will be returned so let me show you all the result here so this is how my client application looks i have just given uh, two numbers and i have clicked on the add button it's showing the result 16. so these two numbers are going to my server application my server is calculating sending the result back as 16. all this is happening via aidl stub and the 16 is passed as a, a binder object to my client so this was a simple uh, session i wanted to show you also you all got an idea right how the communication between two apps happen through this aidl stub and aidl is used for that purpose so i hope this was helpful and informative to everyone thanks everyone for your time and i'll meet you all soon in my next session with new topics in android until then everyone take care bye see you